Hi guys and welcome to Banana Pie Kitchen. In this video, I want to explain to you the differences between granite mortar and clay mortar. These two types of mortar are commonly used in Thai cuisine. Let's begin with the granite mortar. The granite mortar comes with a granite pestle, whereas the clay mortar comes with a wooden pestle. Now, I will explain how each kinds of mortar is used in different ways. Granite mortar is used mainly for making curry paste or to pound hard ingredients into powder. Basically, this kind of mortar is used for grinding any ingredients into a fine paste or into powder. The shape of granite mortar also designs to suit its purposes. The round shape allows ingredients inside to move easily and evenly while you are pounding. Here is how to use granite mortar. Simply grab a pestle on your preferred hand, pound the ingredients in your own rhythm with the weight of the mortar. Don't contract your forearm or don't force it because you will get fatigue very easily. When you are done using the mortar, clean with liquid detergent and dry it upside down. But don't let it completely close or it will become moldy and smell. And here is what not to do for the granite mortar. Don't leave any acidic ingredients inside the mortar for a long time. For example, lime juice. The acid will eat up your granite, therefore shorten the lifetime of your mortar. Now, let's talk about clay mortar. Clay mortar is mainly used for making papaya salad and other kinds of salads in Thai cuisine. The purposes of this mortar are different from the granite kind. Um, it is designed to mash vegetable lightly, just enough to bruise it, to let the juice come out of the vegetable and also to bring the dressing inside the vegetable. This is why the material of this mortar is clay and wood. It is lightweight and it has less power. Let's take a look at the design. The shape of this mortar is like a funnel. This shape will allow the vegetable to stay in place when you pound and also prevent the salad dressing from splashing to your face while pounding. To use this mortar, grab the wooden pestle on your preferred hand and on the other hand, you can use a spatula to help moving the ingredients around to allow everything to mix evenly. After you are done, clean and dry your mortar thoroughly to prevent mold growing inside. Once again, dry your mortar on a rack or in a position that will allow the air to ventilate under the mortar. Now, which mortar should you have in your kitchen for Thai cooking? This is really depends on how much you use it, but I want to show you quickly what mortar I have in my Thai kitchen. I have one large granite mortar for a heavy duty cooking, such as making chili dipping sauce or curry paste. The second one I have here is my little tiny mortar. This one is very convenient and handy to use to pound garlic and chili for a quick stir fry. Lastly, I have a clay mortar for making papaya salad. And that is all for Thai kitchen tips today. I will see you in the next video and hope you have a great day. Sawadee